Hey, what's up guys, Nick here, and today is a very special day, as after many, many months of wanting a certain piece of armor in Halo 5, today is the day that I have finally unlocked it. A couple weeks ago, a Spartan company called a Squadron Max let me in, as they were pretty close to the Achilles, and my company, I was in the Chaotix company, and to put it nicely, we were very far away, and not many people were trying to get there, so I joined this new company to get the Achilles helmet a couple weeks ago. Last night, we finally unlocked the helmet, so I've now jumped on Halo to look at my rec pack, and we're going to unlock it together for the first time. I know the Achilles gets a lot of flack, so I don't know, I probably won't wear it that often, or at all, but we're going to unlock it anyway and play a couple games with it, and just see what happens. So let's open the rec pack. Pretty damn excited. I want to see what, what it looks like in cart, as that's my color that I wear. I don't think I've seen it. So there it is, the Achilles helmet. You know, now that I have it, it's actually really nice looking. So maybe I'll rock it all the time. I'm joking. I'm not gonna, not gonna wear it. The hell jumper is bay, but we've got a couple other stuff in this rack pack. So we're gonna equip it, put it on. Let's have a look at our new Achilles helmet. Okay, guys. So you can see here we now have the Achilles helmet on. It looks kind of weird from this angle. Not gonna lie, it's uh, it's not the prettiest thing with this big bulky armor, I guess, but. It's alright, you know, it's not too shabby, so we're going to jump into a couple games of Warzone here, see what we can get up to with our new Achilles helmet, you know, maybe, I, maybe I'll get a new playstyle because of this thing, but we'll have to see and find out. Okay, so we've got a new game of Escape from Ark, which is a great map, so we finally got our Achilles helmet playing on my favourite map. This is going to be a good day, I can already tell. But in this video, I just want to talk about Achilles and why I think it is such a good idea and why I love that kind of thing. What the hell was that doing? But I want to talk about why I think that kind of thing is such a good thing for Halo and why I think we need more of it in future games. And what I mean by that is being able to unlock, you know, certain helmets or certain wrecks or anything like that by working together with teammates or, you know, trying to unlock a certain achievement or doing a challenge or something like that. Because the last time we had something like that was back in Halo 3 with the recon helmet. Let me tell you, unlocking the recon helmet was one of the most satisfying and best feelings I've ever had in any game ever of all time. Oh my god, are you joking me? He's invisible. Now, Spartan Companies and Achilles became a thing quite a long time ago, so I'm kind of late to the party. It's, uh, it's been long overdue for me to finally get Achilles, and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video already have it, so that's great for you. But the Spartan Company that I've been in, we just, I don't know, a lot of players stopped playing, or not very many people played Warzone. Stop. You're, you're, yeah, you're camoed with a blaze of glory. I hate you. So it took me quite a long time to get Achilles compared to a lot of people, but I finally got it. We well, finally got there in the end. I swear to God, if you better not ban at me. Why is everyone invisible? Holy shit. I'm the one with Achilles. I should be doing that. I thought I would play Wars and Trouble to have a good time. Not the case. Everyone's invisible. Everyone's trying their ass off. This is not fun at all. But yeah, I love the idea of having to work together with your teammates or with friends or whatever to unlock a certain helmet. You know, it takes months and months and a lot of work to actually get it. And whenever you get it, it feels so, so satisfying. Because I remember Recon was very difficult. It was no easy task whatsoever back in Halo 3. To get Recon back before it was just readily available to everyone. Are you joking me? Are you? I literally just got a whisper twist and the game's already over. I... <sighs> game two. Okay, so I got put right back in the game on Escape from Ark, so it's as if that first game never even happened. But to get the recon helmet in Halo 3, it was quite the task. You had to get, I think it was seven Vidmaster achievements between Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST. And that was in campaign, in multiplayer. It was everywhere in both the games. It was absolutely insane. But the feeling of working together with your friends and unlocking these super, super difficult achievements was insanely, insanely satisfying whenever you finally did it. My greatest memory from unlocking one of the Vidmaster achievements was whenever I set up a LAN with some of my friends soon after Halo 3 ODST came out. We were all playing a LAN, playing together, playing the campaign in the in co-op. We worked really hard, we worked all night. We literally sat up all night doing the achievements. We got all of the Vidmaster achievements in Halo 3 ODST that you needed friends for. We did it in a LAN, which was just the best feeling. And whenever we finished, there was two of us that could unlock the recon helmet, me being one. So me and my friend, we logged onto the Bungie website and hit the unlock recon button and we jumped onto Halo 3 and played with our new recon helmet. And it was just the most insanely good feeling. It just felt so satisfying. They worked so hard, played so many difficult challenges to finally have this helmet in this game. So I really hope that 343 look back at that, look at Achilles and look at how many people work together by joining companies with their friends, making new friends, you know, inviting random people that didn't even know just to be in their company to help them work towards getting Achilles. 
You know, the sense of community that the Achilles helmet kind of drove in the in the Halo community was insane because so many people worked together just for it. So I really hope in future Halo games we do see, you know, stuff like Recon and Achilles come back, but not just for Spartan companies, you know, for achievements and stuff like that. I did nothing well with Super Truth at all. It, it was useless for me. I literally just spawned. Are you actually... Are you, are you nuts? Game, I... Oh, that's so annoying. Holy shit. No, that's my, my sniper. Come back. Hey, I'll take it. I don't care. Worth it. Completely worth it. <laughs> okay, we've got a bit of an upgrade now. Just a little one. Just, just very tiny. So if they were to link armor and helmets and all that stuff to achievements or stuff you had to do in the game, I would be very happy as it gives them an incentive to actually play the game to try and unlock this badass bit of armor or helmet or whatever it is. So I really hope it comes back in future Halo games. That was probably my biggest ask for uh, for like Halo 6 or whatever the next FPS Halo game. But I am very happy now that I have my Achilles helmet. It is, uh, it was kind of frustrating not having it because you know, I'm a Halo YouTuber. I play the game every single day and I felt like I was the only one that didn't actually have the helmet. So. Now that I finally have it, I'm a very, very happy boy. Now there is one helmet that I will never have, which is kind of upsetting, and that is the All of the Pig helmet, as to get that one, you have to be a forger, and you have to get your map into matchmaking, and I am a terrible forger. I am absolutely, absolutely terrible. I just can't forge to save my life. All right, so I just put two damage boosts in this Norn Fang. I don't know why. Maybe uh, maybe Achilles just makes you an automatic badass. And right, let's see what we can do with this. I want to try and find a vehicle or something like that, so I can one-shot it. Oh my goodness, that works. Oh no! <gasps> okay, that was way too close. Holy moly. Okay guys, I think it's time that since I now have Achilles, I take advantage of it for just one game. I know a lot of you will hate me for doing this, but every single time I play this game, I always go against people using the bayonet, while they're camoed. So it's time to get some revenge. It's time for me to actually try this out for myself, if it's only just once, okay? You'll never see me do it again, but I need to try and see what it's like to have Achilles on, have a bayonet, and also active camo, just to see how overpowered it can be. So we're gonna sneak up on the enemies with our bayonet, hopefully take some out. Hopefully they don't see me, but I am camoed, and it should last a long time, so I think I'm good. But this is literally my first time ever looting out with a bayonet. I can guarantee you I've never used one before. I've never even picked one up. Oh my God, that is actually very satisfying. But I've never used a bayonet before. I just, I don't know, I completely disagree with them. I think they're stupidly overpowered. So this is my first opportunity ever using one. Wait, what? Hello? Okay, he was confused. I was confused. Just a lot of confusion was going on. Give me your sniper. Thank you. All right, we're just gonna continue to sneak on in. Nice and chill. We're not really here. You don't see anything. Hello, Mr. Scorpion. You don't know that I exist. Oh, I'd be I'd be a bad teammate if I didn't try and not, you know actually board this scorpion. <gasps> no, no. Okay, thank the Lord. If I didn't get on this and kill it, I would have been very upset. Die. Do you see me? Yes. He 100% sees me. Oh. Hello, kind sir. It would be a shame if someone were to sneak up on you. Ah. Uh, he must be. He must feel so annoyed. I would be very annoyed. So. Does he see me? No, you don't. You don't see anything. Oh. Oh! I did, no, my <laughs> my camel went off <laughs> as I was crouched. <laughs> That's so awkward. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. There's a guy in here. Hello. Oh, how did you see me? No, that's bullshit. Now, this is why I think camo and bayonet is broken. Because all you need is this one loadout attachment. It's not a wreck. Once you load out with it once, then that's it. You, you have the bayonet forever, which is a one hit kill. All right, we've got a free George's chain gun. We should be able to get like maybe one, two kills with this thing. If we can uh, find some people that are close enough. Hello, kind sir. How unfortunate that you died. Oh no. No. Oh. God damn it. But it is stupidly overpowered that I can put a camo on, put a bayonet on, and I can basically be an invisible one hit kill person. Like, it's dumb. Oh my god, okay. 
Thank you. Now, it really upsets me that I do find it very satisfying, but I guess because it's so easy to kill people doing it, it's, you know, obviously gonna be very satisfying. Because all I have to do is sneak up, just like this. Oh no! I choked! Oh. Wait, what? Okay. Well, people are, you know, obviously putting on so they uh, can survive one hit with a bayonet, which is really frustrating. It's actually incredibly frustrating, but I guess, you know, it's only fair, I guess. All right, so we're gonna stop with that for now. Hopefully we can get on this scorpion. What? Bullshit. I'm sorry, but that is just bullshit. You're going like half a mile per hour. But I hope you guys agree with my point about, you know, achievements and having, you know, certain armor to unlock in that way, because it just would add so much more to the game, as I think that's one major thing that is missing from Halo 5. Uh, from if there's one thing that I would absolutely love, it, it definitely would be that. Now, this is the big problem with me and Warzone Turbo. Since I have so many good wrecks, I just, you know, I use them. I don't even think about it. So I have 23 of these Spanker Primes, so why not try and get some kills with it, I guess? It's, uh, it's here for a reason, I suppose. Oh, I got that kill. <gasps> no, the Matt is going to kill me. Matt is going to kill me. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Okay, we survived. I was really terrified there. Ooh, two for one. Oh my god, we're going off. Let's go. Oh god, the prime is... Oh my, scorpion. Hello! Hello! Oh, you little shit, I hate you. Okay, guys, we've made it behind the lines. We're getting pretty damn close. Oh my god, if I could actually hit my answer shots, that'd be great. Okay, is it game over? Have we done it? Okay, reload. Quick, 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 quick. We can do it, 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 we can do it! Let's go! Holy moly, about time. That took so long to get into the core. My god. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. This is my first video ever using the Achilles helmet. I'm probably my last as I'm gonna go back to my hell jumper helmet as I just love it too much. But I thought I'd make a video about me getting Achilles and you know getting to actually wear it for the first time. And also talk about why I love the idea of you know being able to unlock helmets and armor and stuff as it just adds so much to the game. So if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below. I'm so sorry for using a bayonet and camo. It was just for video purposes. I'm not gonna do that in my spare time now that you know of. Now, but for real, thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for all the support on the channel and the videos in general. I did a live stream on YouTube yesterday for the first time ever. I got 60 viewers in like five seconds, which is absolutely insane. That is mind blowing. So thank you all so much for the support on everything that I do. I love you all so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.